discuss some important question about your Hafeli practical examination for computer science class 10. At first let us know the syllabus. You will require total 5 chapters. Chapter 1 that is introduction to computer network. Chapter 4 introduction to loops. Chapter 5 nested loop. Chapter 6 arrays in C. Chapter 7 function in C. This 5 set chapters are required for your examination and from each chapter from 2 to 10 marks will be there in your examination there might be minimum at least 2 mark I don't think there will really, will get only 10 mark at least 10 mark you will get from each chapter for half yearly marks, marks distribution is not given so we cannot predict from which chapter how many marks will be there in examination now for marks, distribu um, marks distribution theory will have 30 marks and practical 30 marks uh, for marks distribution for theory you will have 70 mark and practical 30 marks you must get 21 to pass in theory and practical you must get 9 marks to pass so total mark is 100 and passing mark is 30 and for practical you will get total two questions to do one question will contain seven mark and another question will contain eight mark total 15 plus project file which is already given i think to as your project that will contain 10 mark and viva five mark now some school might ask to do just one question it uh, depending on time if your school have enough com number of computer then you might ask to do two questions only and some school might not have a enough number of computer like I suppose there are 50 students just 10 or 5 computer at that moment you might ask to do just one question so I can't directly say how many questions you will have to do in examination but you will get at least four or three options from there you will have to do two questions now let us see some important question chapter wise from chapter 4 you will require to see these questions find the summation of n numbers extract the digits of a number this is very important then summation of the digits of a number 2 and 3 almost same only one or two line is different so if you can do one program another one easily will able to do it and prime number program that is also very important that one you practice it and this one summation of number now question 1 and 5 almost same just little bit different that one you will have to see when you will practice that time you will understand what is the difference between these two from chapter 5 you can see these patterns I think these patterns are enough from chapter 5 you can see this 1 1 2 1 this pattern this is very much important and little difficult also to do question B diamond shape pattern question C pyramid shape pattern D also pyramid shape pattern now question C and D will be the same just little different then E that is the easiest one and F there you will have to use your logic from chapter 6 array just you have to know how to declare an array and how to display the elements this much will be enough you will not get much uh, hard questions from this chapter and one more you can see you will declare two arrays one array you will take the input another array you will copy the elements what you stored in the first array to the second array and you will display the second this is also very easy not much difficult and one string array that is the easiest one you will declare two string array one array will store your mother name one array you will store your name and you will display both one after another and from function you can skip this, ch this chapter if you didn't understood properly or you can see these two questions I think these two are only the important question for pract practical examination right, uh, write a C program to define a function square and accept the number as parameter and return the square of the number and write a C program to add number using function so whatever question I have added here this is also important for your theory examination so you can practice these questions for both practical as well as your theory examination so in this video this much only in next video we will practically do the questions and see how you can rectify some common mistakes from your programs 
and how you can get the output and if you do not have a laptop or a computer still you can practice C programming you can search online C compiler or you can download coding in C app from Play Store there also you can practice most of the command will whatever programs or codes are there in your book almost all the code will be supported in that app and if you are irritated with ads you can turn off data in your mobile app at that moment the app will work without any ads so this much only for today's video i hope you have understood in next video we'll practice chapter 4 important questions so till then stay tuned thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye.